All right, folks, I'm out here on the houseboat again. Uh, I fiberglassed this front leading edge with the 1708 roll of fiberglass. It's, uh, what, 15 foot in a roll. I ordered two rolls. Used just a little bit of it here. I actually got so excited in what I was doing, I forgot to film. But uh, I sanded this crack down here. Got my sanding disc out, sanded that cracked nice and smooth sanded the top smooth as far as I know I was gonna come back with the fiberglass and then I I cut I don't know maybe 18 inches off the end of the roll twice um, and I did that part over there first and you can see the, the line in the middle and I did this side over here next and that 1708 it wraps around corners pretty dang good that's what I've seen on the internet that's why I kind of wanted to go with the 1708 with because uh, how good it wraps around corners. But uh, I didn't do more than this because it's about to rain. You see storm storm clouds up there, and I've had a few droplets uh, hit me. But uh, this side over here, this side over here is dry to the touch, but this side over here is slightly tacky. So hopefully. Hopefully it'll be dry to the touch in the next 10 minutes maybe and I could put this tarp over it. But it's Tuesday. I'm, I gotta go inside and uh, I'm done for today. This wasn't a whole lot that I did, but like I've said in past videos, I can't hardly damn breathe anymore because it's damn corona. But, uh, all right, fixing to sweep this roof off here and uh, whenever that dries, put the tarp back over it. All right, back out on the houseboat. Today's Wednesday. This is the front leading edge I did yesterday. And I come out here first thing this morning and I pulled the tarp back. And uh, the deck was wet. But I just pulled it back from this first section right here. I left the tarp folded over back there. I ran to town, had to get a few supplies and everything. And the sun popped out, which is nice. And uh, it dried out the front section of deck, but it's still wet underneath the tarp where I left the tarp. So I pulled the tarp off. I should have pulled it off completely this morning. But uh, anyway, I'm just concentrating on this front part right here. Basically, this first 4x8 sheet of plywood. And uh, the roll is 50 inches wide. It's a 50 inch wide roll in there. But I think 50 inches wide by roughly eight feet wide if I was to try to do all that by myself I don't know if I could do it so what I've did is I've marked marked the center line this is the part I'm gonna start from I'm gonna overlap the new fiberglass onto the old or the fiberglass I just did yesterday just a hair and come back 25 inches this is the 25 inch mark and this is the center line to help me I'm gonna pre-mark the fabric so I can lay the fabric on the center line and know it will go out that way as far as I need it to go and that way as far as I need it to go and wrap down to the side. And uh, that'll be the first 25 inch section I do. And then I drew another 25 inch section, that line there, in case I get to it. But it's just, uh, I can't do that whole big sheet by myself. So that's why I'm going to cut it in half long ways and do 25 inches and then probably the next 25 inches. And then hopefully I can leave this tarp off this wood for a couple days. And uh, maybe this rear section will dry out. But if not, I'll have to throw the, like if rain rolls in, I'll have to put the tarp back on and, <clears throat> and get to it another weekend, another day. All right, here we go. Alright folks, about ready to get started. I got the first section sanded, the first 25 inches. I've got my fiberglass cut to length and my fiberglass marked. That's the center line of the fiberglass. And I can line it up with the center line that I've got on the deck. And uh, wet out the wood and then roll it out and start wetting out on top of the fiberglass. And uh, I've got some buckets already with resin in it. I'm uh, going to mix up one bucket at a time and pour it in this uh, 
like paint tray with a little disposable liner. I don't know if this will work, but uh, then use that roller to roll the roll the deck out real quick. And once the deck's wet out, then I can slowly lower my my roll of fiberglass onto the Sharpie marker marks on the deck. Make sure everything's lined up, and then uh, then roll the roll out and wet it as I go. And uh, it'll roll out and go a couple inches over the side. And uh, any wood that it doesn't end up covering, like if it falls short on the side, I'll just run strips down at a later date. But that'll be easy. This is the this is the hard part for me doing all this stuff by myself. Uh, good news is the deck back here seems to be drying out with the sun beating down on it. But all right. Hell, I've not even got started yet, and I'm already exhausted. But, uh, all right, I'm fixing to put some latex gloves on and see what I can do. Well, there she is. Got 25-inch uh, wide from front to back and 8 feet wide from left to right done. It's almost a little bit more than I can do by myself, even with the having everything set up ready to go but um got it did looks like there's a few dry spots underneath even though i i pre-soaked the wood that's fine though when i i plan on doing left and right layers sanding the whole roof down from front to back and uh then whenever it's smooth i plan on doing front to back layers so if, if i got to sand out any dry spots it's fine it'll be covered with the layer up top but i'm going to come down off this roof take a break let this dry out by the sun and then possibly here in a little bit come up and uh, do the second the second uh, layer from here from or basically from the 25 inch mark to the 50 inch mark and then that'll be slightly more than the first sheet done because here's the here's the sheet line and here's where the 50 inch uh, wide fiberglass will come to so the fiberglass is not falling on the the stud line where the sheets meet it's fallen I don't know maybe about eight inches later so anyway all right let me stop yakking and go inside all right here we go again got the uh, second section sanded out to my sharpie marks on the deck got the fiberglass marked on the center line everything set out ready to add hardener to and mix it as I need it so uh, you throw these gloves on and get busy all right I got the second uh, strip on so uh, it only takes about 15 minutes. It took me about 15 minutes to do that 25 inch wide strip by 8 foot long. But I had to hustle and my back is killing me. I'm up here breathing hard and everything. Um, I got her did. Probably going to have a day or two of uh, good weather. So hopefully the rest of this deck will get dried out. And I uh, think I'm done for today. I'm going to clean up all my mess here I got going and uh let this dry out call it a day thank y'all for watching